Welcome back to another tutorial video in our Go High Level Mastery course. Forms are a very important part of every website because they help you to easily capture leads and collect data in an organized manner. There are different types of forms that you can use for specific purposes. The most common example of a form is the contact as form. For instance, you'll find this type of form on the global social media marketing page, accessible to anyone wishing to reach out. Similarly, there are many other forms such as newsletter forms, lead and data collection forms, appointment forms, job application forms, survey forms, purchase order forms, and many more. We're using Go High Level CRM, which is all-in-one marketing and sales software. It comes with a simple and easy to use form builder. Using this builder, you can build forms and analyze track submissions. Let's see how you can create forms in Go High Level. Let's jump into it. Go to your High Level account and select Sites from the left navigation panel. Then hover over the Forms tab to reveal three submenus. Clicking on Builder takes you to the Forms area where you can view existing forms and create new ones. Selecting Analyze allows you to track form fill-ups over time and monitor the number of submissions for each form. Under Submissions, you can view all submissions along with detailed information. Additionally, you can filter submissions by specific forms, fields, or date ranges, and export contacts if needed. To begin creating forms, access the builder from the Form drop-down menu. On this page, click the Add Form button. In high level, you have two options for form creation. Selecting Start from Scratch opens a blank builder where you can design your form from scratch using a drag-and-drop interface. Customize the form according to your requirements. Alternatively, choosing Choose from Template provides a variety of pre-built forms tailored for different industries and purposes. Simply select a template and customize it to fit your needs. Creating a form from templates is straightforward. Locate a suitable template, make any necessary adjustments, and your form is ready to use. For this demonstration, we'll opt for the Start from Scratch option. To begin constructing a form, access the menu by clicking on the plus button. Go High Level offers two options for adding elements, Quick Add, which provides pre-built fields for easy drag and drop placement, and Custom Field, allowing you to create and add your own fields. Click on the Add Custom Fields button to view available field types, such as text input, value selection, and drop-down options. For instance, to include a drop-down menu, choose Multiple from the Choosing Options section. Follow the prompts to define drop-down menu options. Once the custom field is created, it will appear in the list. Simply locate the field name, drag it, and drop it into the form. Remember to save your changes by clicking the Save button at the top. Once you've added the elements, it's time to customize the appearance of your form. Access the Style and Options menu from the right side of the interface. Here, you'll find a range of styling options to tailor the look of your entire form. Let's explore some key styling features. Inline form aligns all form fields in a single line. Show label, displays the name of each field. Full screen mode, expands the form to the width of the container. Input style, choose between boxed or line style for input fields. Within the form style section, you can further customize your form by adjusting background colors, borders, padding, and even adding shadows for depth. In the Field Style section, you can style individual fields such as full name and email fields. Label and short label refer to the name of the field displayed above the input area. For instance, in our form, full name and email serve as labels. From here, you can adjust the color, font family, size, and weight of both the label and short label of your form. Placeholder settings allow you to pre-write values in the form fields to guide users. For example, in our form, the placeholder value matches the label of each field, such as full name and email. Next, let's discuss styling individual fields. While you've styled most elements of your form, these settings apply to the entire form. If you want to customize individual fields, simply select the desired one. On the right side, you'll find settings specific to that field. Here, you can modify the label, placeholder, and short label name. Additionally, you have the option to mark the selected field as required. 
Depending on the element, the available settings may vary. For example, selecting the button field will provide additional styling options. You have the flexibility to personalize and design the actions triggered when the user clicks the submit button. For example, you can choose to display a thank you message and redirect them to another URL. Moreover, you can modify the name of your form, although it won't be visible to users. Assigning it a unique name can aid in distinguishing it from other forms. Lastly, there are options to integrate a Facebook Pixel ID for tracking and triggering relevant events. Don't forget to click Save after completing these steps. Furthermore, you can preview the form by selecting Preview from the top menu. Customize the integration settings by navigating to the top bar and clicking on Integrate. This action will open up the integration settings page for you. On the left side of the page, you'll find options to select the layout for embedding your form. This determines how the form will be displayed on your sales funnel or external website page. There are four different layout styles available. Sticky sidebar. The form appears on the side of the screen and can be minimized to a tab that sticks to the side of the window. Polite slide in. The form appears on the bottom side of the screen and disappears once closed. Pop up. The form is displayed as an overlay inside a light box. It cannot be minimized but can be closed. Inline. The form appears along with the content of the page as a native element. It does not overlay and cannot be closed or minimized. Depending on the type of form you've created, you can choose the most suitable layout for embedding it in sales funnels or website pages. In this guide, since we've crafted a contact us form, the inline format is the most fitting choice. After selecting your preferred embed layout type, you'll find the corresponding settings on the right side. These include Trigger type. Choose how you want to trigger the form. You can select options such as showing the form after someone scrolls up to a certain depth or after a specific amount of time from the visit. For example, you can choose to show the form after a visitor scrolls up to a certain percentage or after a set number of seconds from their visit. Finally, you have the option to select Always Show if you want the form to be continuously visible on the page. I chose this option because the Contact Us form should always be accessible. Next, let's look at the activation options. There are two options available. Activate on Visit. This option activates the form based on the number of visits. For example, you can set it to show the form only on the second visit. Always activated. Choose this option if you want the form to be activated at all times. I'm selecting this because the Contact Us form should always be available. Now let's discuss the deactivation options. You can define how the form should be deactivated based on the following options. Deactivate after showing times. Enter the value after which you want the form to be deactivated. Deactivate once the lead is collected. This option stops displaying the form to leads who have already submitted it. Never deactivate. This ensures that the form remains continuously visible. For this guide, I'll select this option because the Contact Us form should never be deactivated. Once you've made the desired changes, click Done to return to the main form builder page. Ensure everything is saved by clicking the Save button. Finally, our last step involves embedding the forms. You can embed them in Go High Level Sales Funnel pages or external websites effortlessly. Click on Integrate from the form builder area. Once you've selected the embedding type, you'll see two options. Embed code, click to copy the code and paste it on the back end of your external website or sales page. Copy form link, copy the link of your form and insert it where you want to link it to embed forms in high level sales funnel pages. Open the desired sales funnel page. Click the plus icon to add an element and select form. A form picker will appear, allowing you to select the high level form you want to add. Select the form, and it will appear on the Sales Funnel page. Don't forget to save the funnel. This is how you can embed forms within the high-level platform or external websites and Sales Funnel pages. I hope this tutorial has provided comprehensive guidance on creating, customizing, integrating, and embedding forms in high-level. I'll see you in the next lesson.